The topic on this video is going to be airflow calculation due to infiltration. As you might have known, in a typical building, air leaks into or out of a space through doors, windows, and a small cracks in the building envelope. So air leaking into a space is called infiltration. During the cooling season, when air leaks into a conditioned space from outdoors, it can contribute to both the sensible heat and leading heat gain in the space because the outdoor air is typically warmer and more humid than the indoor air. There are three methods commonly used to estimate infiltration airflow crack method, effective leakage area method, air chain method. So the crack method is a little more complex and is based on the average quantity of air known to enter through cracks around windows and doors when the wind velocity is constant and the effective leakage area method uh, takes wind speed shielding and stack effect into account and requires a very detailed calculation the air chain method is the easiest but it may be the least accurate of these methods and it involves estimating the number of uh, air changes per hour that can be expected in spaces of a certain construction quality so by using this method the quantity of infiltration air is estimated. So in this example we use uh, air chain method. The formula which is used to estimate the airflow due to infiltration is uh, volume of space times air change rate divided by 60. So let's say we have an office uh, volume of 70 feet times 40 feet times 12 feet which gives us 33,600 cubic feet of volume and this table is used to estimate for infiltration uh, using the air chain method assuming that the space in our example is of average construction and we want to keep at the positive pressure relative to the outdoors so we estimate 0.3 air changes per hour of infiltration so our space volume is uh, 33,600 cubic feet uh, times the factor of 0.3 uh, divided by 60 that gives us uh, 167 CFM of air. So as you can see we have just estimated the amount of air that is leaking into the space and it will allow us to estimate heat gain due to infiltration. And that's it. Thank you for watching.